Is that a library book? Yeah, why? Haven't you been watching the news lately? It's got coronavirus all over it. Here, I'll take care of that for you. You're welcome. I just saved your life, actually. The world has lost its freaking mind, and you know that it's lost its mind when you're seeing people microwaving their library books to kill the coronavirus. And it's pretty bad when CNN, a reputable news source, releases a piece that's a public service announcement that it states specifically, stop microwaving your books to get rid of the coronavirus. Now, don't be confused. This isn't like that rejected uh, project over on Shark Tank called Rocket Book, which, you know, ended up, you know, taking off pretty well, no pun intended, with Rocket Book. The microwave safe notebook. Uh, you know, you that is a microwavable book, but that's a different case. It's not like you're trying to kill any kind of germs or viruses on this one. It's the intent of that. You're supposed to do that on that. Well, according to the Kent District Library in Grand Rapids, Michigan, they'd actually had some books turned into them to where it looked like pretty much someone had set fire to the inside of the pages. Well, because technically they actually did set fire to it. The reason is they would open up the book. You can see the little metal badge that helps them kind of track their book and, you know, check it in, check it out and such like that. People didn't account for that when they tossed that library book into a microwave to kill off any of the germs or viruses that were on it and essentially they set fire to the stinking book thereby kind of almost destroying and defacing this specific book and that's despite having a 72 hour quarantine on these books in other words as soon as it's checked out is brought back in they actually isolate all of these books for 72 hours and this is actually something that was recommended by the center for disease control uh what do libraries know about infectious diseases anyways, Dale? Well, I'm glad you asked, Gail. In fact, actually, D David Berendez, the uh, CDC epidemiologist, actually said this. You don't have to really worry about finding ways to disinfect those materials. The virus, if it's present, would be present in very low quantities and would die off pretty quickly. <sighs> Now, before you go and start to tell me that you shouldn't believe everything on the internet, and that's, that's a good point, actually, I decided to go ahead and call in a favor from a friend, a retired virologist and prolific horror novelist, Thomas A. Bradley. And Thomas has actually been a longtime supporter of this channel. And I knew for a while that actually he was a lifelong virologist and he was chomping at the bit to share just a little bit of information. So I've got him on speed dial here, Gail. So Thomas, should we be microwaving our books to kill the coronavirus? Um, no. <laughs> There's really no reason for that. I understand that people are concerned and very nervous um, about especially infecting the elderly if they trans... But there's no reason to microwave a book. Uh, hello, Mr. Virologist? Um, what if I use Lysol on the books? Oh, absolutely not. But first of all, you're going to make the ink bleed and if these are library books, as what's been being reported in the news lately, uh, they're not going to be very happy that you have to wear bifocals to try to put the letters back together again. If you're really, really, really scared about the virus, it would be okay maybe to take a 10% bleach solution on a rag and just wipe the outside cover. But even that is not going to be necessary. Your chances of being infected by a borrowed library book, especially if they're following their CDC protocols of leaving it uh, isolated for 72 hours, the viruses are gonna be desiccated and dead, um, which is a euphemism because viruses aren't alive to begin with. Um, no, there's there's no real reason to do that. What if I use my, my mask and my goggles and some of my gloves, will that work? Again, no, um, 
unless you're reading a scratch and sniff book and you're going to put your face right in it, not necessary. What are the chances of getting infected by the coronavirus from a book? Without trying to get too technical, these viruses are what they call an envelope virus, which means it divides its outer shell from our cell membranes. They dry out very easily. So the chances of being infected by a virus particle that's been trapped in a page on a book is, is gonna be very, very low. Are the CDC guidelines, as well as the 72 hour quarantine of books when they come back to the libraries, is that sufficient? According to all the studies that I have read and I've been keeping up, even though I'm retired, the 72 hour quarantine is more than sufficient. As with everything else, if you notice, take a jar of peanut butter off your shelf and it'll say best if used by, and that date, will usually be three to four months before it actually expires. It's what we call a, a window of safety. And for safety hazards, they'll call the shelf life much shorter than what it is. So the 72 hour period is definitely a safe window for this virus. Hey, are you lizard people? Are you lizard? I know you're lizard people. No, I'm not really lizard people. Uh, I can't be bothered with conspiracies. I mean, I, it's, if I, if I listen to everybody's theories, uh, uh, I, I could spend months on Facebook arguing with so many different people. It, it's just, it's just not worth my time to chase my tail. No lizard jokes intended there. Well, Gail, uh, thanks for ruining my library book. Uh, I, I really appreciate that, uh, despite the fact it was just fine. You're welcome. Uh, speaking of library, uh, not too long ago, I shared just a little bit about the Internet Archives and how they were seemingly pirating books through library systems. In fact, you're actually going to check it out in this next video right now, and you're going to be pretty blown away at what's happening with the Internet Archives. I'll see you there. Yes, I am sophisticated. <laughs>